and what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it is your boy cheap loots and i am tired but we got new packs we got the clutch deluxe out now so are they guaranteed packs oh shit they are guaranteed packs all right uh so we got diamond jason kid who should be pretty decent though it's mads jason kid so he's probably gonna be low on stamina and stuff a amethyst michael jordan which will be way more expensive than he's actually worth um, same with an Amethyst Kobe, probably won't be that good. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar should be an incredible center, granted he's Lakers Kareem, so he'll be a little slower. Um, Rip Hamilton, Ray Allen, and Tony Kukoc will actually probably be the most useful cards in this set. Like, I'm not even kidding. Three sharpshooter rubies that'll be easy to get. Uh, Robert Horry, we got a Sapphire Kawhi Leonard. It should be decent. I mean, it's kind of want to see what his shooting's like, but he should be all right. Uh, Trevor Reza should be really good. Battier, Mario, Ellie, and John Paxson all should be pretty good, too. So like I was talking about yesterday in my video, we basically just got a new Lights Out pack. That's essentially what happened. Um, I always have better luck hitting with the bigger cards on the non-guaranteed. I don't know what's up with the guaranteed packs, but they just don't fucking like me. I don't know what it is, but we're going to start off with a little 10 box action and see what we get here. So, before we do that, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I, uh, I need that. You know, trying to hit 200 subscribers. You know, big boy shit. So, let's open up one clutch box. Ooh. I can feel it already. It's gonna be good. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's not good so far. All these guys are going to be really, really cheap, though, because it's a guaranteed box. So literally all of them are going to be so much cheaper than the rest of the cards that came out. Um, it looks like none of them are usable and limited, which is kind of sketching me out. Uh, Mario Ellie should be good. I got a gold interceptor, too. That's solid. Uh, okay, Mario Ellie again. Yeah, he'll literally go for discard value. So Mario Ellie will actually be a good card, though. So... Take a look out for him. Uh-oh. I think I got some goodness. I got Ray Allen. Ray Allen solid. I'll take it. We got some more goodness? No, we didn't. We got Trevor Ariza. All right. Pack out's not really doing me too much justice right now. There we go. All right. Be Kobe. I don't want MJ. I, I really don't want MJ. It is Kobe. All right. Perfectly fine with me. I'm totally cool with that. Oh, no. It's Kareem. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. I need a new center anyway. I'm cool with that. Yeah, if that's all we get out of our guarantee pack, I'm, I'm fine. That, that's cool. Just a bunch of Mario Ellie's and Battier's and shit. Um, they probably won't go for anything, but I'll see. Julius Randle, Rubio, Roby, 76ers playbook, whack. Did you get that Pistons playbook today, man, I swear. Like, look out for that. That could be huge. Throw some contracts on my man Kareem there. I didn't even look at his badge count, but I bet it's pretty decent. All right, we're going for round two. Absolutely, let's do it. I'm trying to get... The lock-in is Jerry West, and I kind of want Jerry West. I'm not going to lie. So... Back down Punisher and John Paxson. All right, I didn't have John Paxson, so that's cool. Uh, another John Paxson. Nah, just because I, I said I didn't have it doesn't mean I want two in a row. Is that three in a row? Absolutely it is. Love 2K. Love 2K's odds. Three John Paxons in a row. Another Ray Allen. Honestly, he'll still be dirt cheap because they're going to be drawing a lot. All right. This box is not holding it down for me right now. Yeah, this is bad. Uh, Ruby. All right, Rip Hamilton. That's fine. He's usable. What do we got? Tony Kukoc. That's cool, too. I get to run at least with all those guys. Uh, Tony Kukoc again. That's cool. Once I get one card, 2K is just like, yo, here's another one. Robert Horry, goddamn. All right. Pretty bad pack opening right there. Um, sell the rest for a massive 700 MT profit. So I can do about one more box and some singles. So this has been pretty fucking poor, to be honest with you, but. I should be able to afford a couple of the Amethyst guys in the auction, so it's fine. Possibly Jason Kidd, but I doubt it. Ray Allen again, that's cool. Um, 
Rip Hamilton. Jesus. Right, is that Paxson? No, it's Shane Battier. Even worse. A card I literally will never use. What do we got? Amethyst. You better not be Kareem again, dude. I'll be upset. Yeah, it's, no, it's it's Kareem again. Fantastic. Oh, my God. That's very frustrating. I'm not going to lie. Like, that's that's super annoying. Uh, that hurts, man. Really? If you had to give me anybody, you had to give me Kareem again. I mean, I could sell him, but, like, what's he even going to be going for? Everyone's going to be drawing these packs and getting these cards. So it's, like, to the point. I don't know. We'll see, man. We'll see. Got another Ruby. It's Tony Kukoc again. Sick. Alright, what do we got? <laughs> Robert Horry again. Tight. Alright, give me something good, bro. And that's a negatory. That is, we're not getting anything good. Alright. I'll just send all these guys to the auctions. Why not? Even if they're going for discard value, that's cool with me. Jim Boylan, what up, dog? I don't, know, I don't think you're even the coach anymore, bro. The kid did not do their homework. So I got enough to get three more deluxe packs. Or four more clutch packs, non-guaranteed. Hmm. What do we do? What do we do? I promise I've had more luck on the non-guaranteed ones. But that was last year. So... That's tough. I don't know, man. Let's just go with one of these. See what happens. See what goes down here. It's a pretty bad pack opening, dude. I haven't gotten shit. These pack odds are garbage this year. Cool. Another fucking Ray Allen. Awesome. Send to my auctions, dude. That's fine. Yeah, apply this to, like, my Kareem, who I have for no reason. Fucking annoying. Alright, anyways. Um, let's do non-guaranteed for the last... Oh, yeah, I can get about... And you get about damn near three, about two. But it's cool, we'll do some non guaranteed boys for a little bit. We got a fucking Trevor Ariza. Awesome. And De'Aaron Fox. <laughs> Super awesome. Alright. Um yeah, might as well just do one more guaranteed. Who cares? Doesn't matter. I'm not gonna get anything out of it anyway, so. And that is correct, I got Tony Kukoc. So, no worries. All in all, should you go get these uh, packs? Uh, no. No. No, you shouldn't. They're fucking bad. Um, other than that, I'll go look at the cards real quick just to give you more accurate. Yeah, I have every card but the three I need. Yeah, these, th these are going to be expensive, dude. By n on off name alone. And apparently they're really rare. Which is super fun. I'm glad the 2K made them so rare. Um, Jason Kidd might even be cheaper than these guys, to be honest with you. Yeah, there seems to be cheaper and more Jason Kidds than there is Michael Jordan and Kobe. Oh, uh, Jordan's actually getting drawn pretty decent. Still unholy expensive, though. Is he even good? He's got 12... He's got 12 gold badges, and people are freaking out about this. What? What is his badge count, dude? Dude, he's not even as good as Allen Houston. This is the exact same thing last year with the multi-dimensional packs, dude. Everyone freaked out about that Jordan, and it was, like, not that good. All right, so that Jordan's not really worth it at all, to be honest with you. Um, let's check out Kobe. We got later in life Lakers Kobe. Uh, does he have tight handles, green machine, steady shooter? He's only got 11 badges, too? Dude, these cards are not that good. Deadeye, Hot Zone Hunter. He doesn't even have difficult shots. How disrespectful. Really? Alright. Yeah, these cards truly aren't that good. Oh, Jason Kidd's fucking nasty, actually. Damn. He's got 30 gold badges and 3 hops, damn. Oh, he's got catch and shoot, difficult shots. Dimer. Clamps, defensive leader, heart crusher, interceptor. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jason Kidd's the real fucking deal. Um, if you can scoop him before people realize how raw he is... Uh, that would be uh, pivotal. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back with new content like every single day and a bunch more today. So, anyways, I appreciate you.